Welcome, guys. Welcome. We'll get started shortly. Welcome. Welcome everyone, we'll get started shortly, welcome. Hey Cam. How you doing David? All right, hey Anthony. Hey Carlos. What's going on David? Hey, good, good, should be a good night. Got some good information from Ricky. I'm excited about that. Jim, how are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? Hanging in there, hanging in there. Welcome, welcome guys. We'll get started shortly. Hey, good night, David. Hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome. Thank you. Welcome guys, welcome. We'll get started shortly. Welcome. Beer, welcome. Travis, welcome. Hey dude. Hey guys. We'll get started shortly. Tyler, welcome. Hi David, how are you doing? Good, good. Welcome, Joe. Everyone, welcome. How are you doing, David? Good, good. Yeah. 
Welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. We'll get started shortly. Welcome. Hope you guys are excited. We've got Ricky on tonight. Hey Randy, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Ron. Hey Rose, welcome, Rose. Vanessa, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Hey guys, let's get started. Let's get started here. I am so excited. I am pumped. And you guys know I am pumped. All right. Um, Ricky is on here with us. And listen, Whenever Ricky gets around, boy, 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 it's, it's a good thing. You know, Ricky started with us a while back and, um, you know, uh, got some stuff from, from us and then went on this journey and um, he figured it out. Guess what? Anyone who can make $120,000 in one single day earns our respect. All right. Every day, guys, we, we get out in this market and we get pound around, right? And we, you know, we try to make as much money as we can. You know, it's a journey, it's hard. So hey, when, when any of us get some success, we got to recognize it. The cool thing about Ricky is that he's willing to share, guys, share his knowledge. He's a young guy, but guess what? He's got the mentality of a 60 year old, all right, and, and a veteran. So guess what guys, we've got a real good treat, okay? Rick has been with us in the office talking to traders. He takes traders under his wings and help them out. So man, I am so pumped. I, I know you guys can hear it from my voice, okay? This is a real, real treat to hear it from, you know, you guys hear stuff from me all the time but to hear it from someone, um, a trader that's out there and is doing it every single day. I mean, he's at it, guys, every single day. All right. So I want to welcome Ricky, buddy, my friend. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. Ricky's going to focus on mindset, guys. Mindset. He might go into some of his tradings, how he, how he does things. But I want you guys to get his mindset. That's the most important thing. If you guys get one piece of information from Ricky, that could make a big, big difference, okay, in your trading. So we want to keep the background noise to a, to a, a minimum. If you guys have any questions, raise your hands, okay, or, or, or send a, a chat, and I'll, I'll make sure you guys' questions are answered. All right? So, Ricky, the floor is yours, buddy. David? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, here. Okay. One second, one second. Okay, okay. here you go. Oh, yeah, my fault. I just got another call. I had to, oh God, I had to decline it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so you can hear us now? Yes, yes, I, I, can, I can hear you. All right, did you hear my intro? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. all right, good, <laughs> all right. All right, I pumped you up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ricky, just um, 
give these guys a, a bit of a background, right? How you get how you got started um, yeah. with with trading. Tell them about your journey. But I, I want you to, if you don't mind, um, a lot of times, you know, as traders, we get into this business, right? And, um, you know, we just want to really get into trading. And, and you know, we know that 80 to 90% of your work is done with your mindset, right? So kind of just go through your background, your experience, and just give them some nuggets, man, some, some good nuggets. All right? All right. Uh, so uh, for one, um, I hope you don't mind. Um, I actually shared um, our Zoom link with uh, one of my, um, well, I, I wouldn't say students. He's more of like one of my colleagues. He, he's a good friend of mine. Um, mm -hmm. he, he's going over from Guyana, which is my, uh, which is my home country. And um, he's on this journey with me, you know, like, like, like we trade together and everything. So I'm awesome. not sure if he's, but um, his name is Kevin. He's, and, and he's a really, He's pumped just like me, man. Like, he's he's like me. He's like me. So you already know what's up. <laughs> it's a wrap. But anyways, I'm not sure if he's in here yet. But um, so uh, yeah, guy. Um, um, welcome, guys. Um, my name is Ricky. Um, I uh, done a few. Uh, I, I did an appearance in in person one time. Uh, with David. Um, I don't know how many of you guys saw that. Um, that YouTube video or whatever he um posted. But um, really what it comes down to, guys, is, um, David, I want to stress this. Um, okay. And I want enough. Um, I know you like to call, I know you like to call me, you know, um, the, the $100,000, $20 single day. <laughs> mine. Um, but in all, in, in all in truthful honesty, bro, that, um, um, that trade, that trade was taken fully on fundamentals. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what fundamentals are, is that trade was based off of market movement with um, all the news and everything. So fundamentals, it's like going with the big boys and with news, right? So mm -hmm. the reason I was so confident in that trade was because I knew exactly what was going to happen, all right? I knew exactly, like there was no way that that trade was gonna go against me. Like there was no way, all right? Hmm. Like that was a, like you, you never get a 100% trade, but that trade was a 100%, all right? I'm not gonna lie, that, that was a 100% guaranteeing profits for me with that trade. And that, that setup, I would look for that setup for an entire week. I watched this market for weeks and weeks. Hey, Ricky, Ricky, your yeah. buddy, uh, Kevin is here. Kevin is on. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Kevin is on. Yeah, yeah he, he he just said he joined. Um, yeah. but yeah, yeah, actually, he 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 doesn't know this story at all, too. So, <laughs> so he'll um, he'll find out, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool, I told cool. him about it, but he doesn't know the full story. Okay. So, so pretty much, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Um, I watched the markets for a few weeks, and I was anticipating. Uh, I was anticipating our move, and. When I executed it, I had no worries. And the reason why I had no worries was I was getting my mind right. You understand? Because these markets will control your emotions. And if you let it, you will lose. I'm not even lying. Like, you will lose. You're not going to win at all. Like, if you cannot hit that buy or sell button without saying, oh, my God, did I make the right choice? If you're questioning your trade as you entered, you're going to lose that trade 100%. I don't care if you go on profits of five, 10 pips, you're going to lose that trade. You know why? Because it happened to me. It happens to me. It happens to the best of us. And you just got to learn from that mistake. All right. But why it's so important of having the right mindset is as traders, we're, in, we're, we're trying to go in these markets, get our profits and get out. You know, most of us are scalpers. Most of us are swing traders. You know, however, however your style is, it all falls under the same category. We're all just trying to make money in these markets, right? So that's why having the right mindset is actually, you know, is, is actually key. And in order to have the right mindset, you need to set goals for yourself, mm. right? In order, to have, in order to have the right mindset, you need to have a goal set. If you don't have a goal, then your mind will not be right. You understand what I'm saying? So what I have done actually... Me and Kevin, like I said, you know, we because Ke Ke Kevin's been with me for about two months now. He's been with two months now, 
And um, he, since he's with me, um, he used to work for a uh, um, what those are. Uh, Te uh, those telephone companies, you know, like when you call and then like, you know, like he, he like he was a representative, right? Mm -hmm. So for two months now, Kevin quit his job. <laughs> oh my God, I went off. Happy. One second, David. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, I'm in my car because my house is just too noisy, right? I can't deal with it. <laughs> Anyway, um, can anybody hear me fine? Good. Yeah, yeah. So you said in in two months he quit his job. Yes, he quit his job in two months. You know, he took that leap of faith with me, and Kevin's been making consistent income with me since he quit his job. All right. So I, I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just saying you understand what I'm saying like but he ha he came in with the right mindset saying that, yo, you know what? I believe in you. You know, I got faith in you. Let's do this. Let's get it. And that's what we did. We, we got it. We get it. And, you know, we're, we make consistent money. And he lives in Guyana, okay? Okay, somebody said they can't hear me. Okay, we, can you guys hear Ricky okay? He sounds muffled. Yeah, he he sounds a little muffled, but we can hear him. But you can hear yeah. him? Okay, go, yeah. go, go, go ahead, Ricky. Go ahead, buddy. Hold on, hold on. Maybe can I just turn this car on? Maybe it's the youth. Uh... Okay, can anyone hear me now? It's fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that, that's better. That's better, guys. That's better, right? right? Yeah, right, bro. Good. Yeah, Ricky, I, I think you're good. Okay, I'm good? All right. Good, yeah, good. yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. So, yeah. So, pretty much, yeah. So, Kevin, you know, yeah, he's been with me for about two months. Uh, you know, we're making consistent. And he lives in Guyana, all right? So, the, the, the problem with him being in Guyana is the, the U.S. Uh, currency to Guyana currency is, is not that good. But because he's been able to make consistent profits... Like, it's enough to him to survive over there. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. So, I'm not going to take too much time in that. um, Because this is mostly for, like, I said kind of thing. But I'm, I just want to say that, you know, like, um, he having the right mindset to trust me and, you know, with his journey with me, it's just been, it, it's just, it, it's been tremendous. I'm not gonna lie, we we have hit a few rough spots, you know. Um, but you know, that happens to the best of us. It happens to me. <laughs> it happened, you're not gonna win every single trade, guys. You have to understand that. You're gonna take your losses, you're gonna take your small losses, you're gonna take your big losses. You understand? Like, and you 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 shouldn't be discouraged if you take a big loss or a small loss. You have to learn from it and try to try to figure out what you did in order to not make that mistake again so that was one of my biggest um flaws when i first started i always second guessed myself um could could everybody mute their mic so i don't get interrupted because i feel like i'm gonna interrupt Hey, David, uh, can you mute everybody? Yeah, I did. I just did. Okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah, because it, it, it keeps cutting in and out. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Um, yeah, so about having the right mindset with a loss and, you know, a win. So here's a lot of things that, this is what messed with your mindset. And this is what I learned. And you never, never, ever get too confident when you're on a win streak, because when you become too confident, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna step out of your comfort zone. You're gonna wanna go against your plan. Like if you have a plan, say, okay, I'm gonna come in this market and I'm gonna make about 15, 20 pips every day, and that's it. Now, if you notice that you're winning consistently, you're like, you know what? Maybe today I'll try to get 30. No, do not do that. Because the minute you do that, you're just gonna mess up your entire self. You're gonna 
go against your strategy and you're going to be like, you're going to take a loss. You're going to be like, wow, like, how did that happen? Like, I was just on a roll a, a whole week with, with winning and then I just took this big loss. So that's why you're having the correct mindset and a plan, mindset and plan. If you have those two things, you will be a successful trader. As long as you have those two things. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Hey. Um, okay. How do you get that mindset, bud? What, 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 because you came in and when, when you came into to the office and I, 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 I noticed it right away just by the way you, um, you spoke. There was a sense of confidence, right? Um, so I, I think sometimes a lot of us, you know, we, we just have that. Um, but how do you get that? How, 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 how can someone get the type of mindset that, that you have? All right. So having the right mindset, it honestly does not come easy because you have to pretty much take every doubt of, out of your mind. Like you can't, you can't think about losing. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you have to think about this, like, yo, like, this is all I got. Like this, is, if I fail, I am done. I'm like, I have to go, I gotta go to a nine to five. Like I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like I cannot succeed. I would never have financial freedom. Like, you have to put all of that away from your mind. Cause once you're in the, like, say for example, if you're in a trade and you're thinking about, Oh my God, I need to win this. I, I, I have a bill to pay. That's, you're going to, that's not the correct mindset. That is not the correct mindset. You do not, what you do not want to do is put your bills on this market. And I, I stress this to Kevin a lot of times. He knows this. I said, do not put your bills on these markets because these markets do not care if you have a bill. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, because a lot of people trade to pay their bills, which is understandable. Just don't risk your rent money or your car payment money and you know just try to flip because once you start doing that your mindset is just out the window you're just trying to game at that point it's gambling all right at that point it's honestly gambling you do not want to gamble as as traders we're not gamblers we are frowned upon as gamblers just because obviously we're we're putting money to see if something goes up or down right but what a lot of people fail to realize there's a lot of more things that go into that with technical analysis and, you know, you having an edge on the markets and whatever like that. But to have the correct mindset that I have, I had to go through a lot of shit. Like, to be honest, like I had to really sat down and just think about what I really wanted to do. If I really want to make trading like my go-to and the way I did that was I just took every negativity out of my mind as possible and i'm like regardless if i enter a trade and i win or lose i'm going to be okay right and that's the mindset you have to you have to have you're going to be okay once you enter a trade you're going to be okay whether it's a loss or a win you're going to be okay and that's just that's just the way you have to think like that's the way you have to think you just think like you're like you enter this trade and you're like, you're good. Like you're good. Like don't even worry about drawdown. Don't worry about a loss. Like just go with the flow, man. Like I'm not explaining like that. <laughs> that's just how I am, right? Like, you know, like when I enter a trade, I have no worries. Like if I'm second guessing a trade, this happened last night to me and Kevin. If I'm second guessing a trade, I am not entering that trade. Regardless of the fact, if it's going against me or if it's going to go with me and we may, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say this. I missed a good trade last night. We missed a really good trade last night and I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset. You know why? Because the market is always going to have another opportunity. Do not chase a trade. Once you start chasing a trade, you're going to end up with what's called FOMO fear of missing out. And that, will mess up your mindset so terribly. Trust me, guys. I know. I've been there. I've done it. I've cried on these screens. I've screamed <laughs> at these screens. You have no idea, okay? Every single body is, is, is going to have to go through this. You understand? Like, you're going to have to go through the phase of blowing your account. You have to go through that phase of learning. And it just, it's a process. It's a process. And with you having the correct mindset, 
that's all that's all it takes honestly that's all it takes hey ricky awesome buddy awesome awesome um and then so the mindset right the mindset critical guys critical 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 we want to work on that every single day all right and then ricky mentioned a plan Ricky, what, what, when, you, when you, mention a, you mention a plan, what's a plan as a, for traders? What, what's, what's a plan that they can implement? All right. So what I mean by plan is you want to have a set of rules that you do not break, right? So you want to set, like, so, so, so like I just said, like if you have a plan, like saying, okay, I want to make like X amount every day. I want to make X amount every week stick to a plan of where you're just meeting that goal. Don't go above it and don't go below it. I know it sounds crazy not to go above it, but once you get comfortable and you go above it, that there's a high possibility that you will lose everything. Because if you go against a plan that you have written and with all of these um, little notes that you put, like, I will not enter a trade if this happens. I will enter a trade if this happens. I'm waiting for for um, my signal to enter this trade off of this candle, off of this zone, and et cetera. Like, like, like that, that's what I mean about a, like a plan. Like you, ha you, you have a set of rules that you follow and you don't break them. Very good. Um, guys, we'll open up the floor uh, um, in just a minute. So if you guys have any questions. Um, Ricky, I know, the, I know the answer to this. Right, okay. and, and I know this is really what helped you. I know traders are out there uh, always looking for the uh, holy grail, right? Um, I believe in this, right? I believe in this, and I know you believe in it, in it also, right? So what, what I want traders to do is kind of get away from all of the crap that's out there and focus on really what matters when you're looking to trade. So. I strongly believe in support and resistance. When Ricky came into the office, right, we talked about support and resistance. And this is something that, that I know Ricky uses a lot, guys, okay? And so, Ricky, can you, can you talk about support and resistance, man, and what it's done for you and, and, and how you treat support and resistance? All right. So, um, support and resistance. Uh... I would, I would have to disagree with you, David. Okay. I have to disagree with you because you know me. I'm always, I'm always trying to find the next thing. I'm, I'm always trying to get that next edge, right? So supporting, okay, so this market, I'll be honest with you, like no one will tell you this, okay? No one will tell you this. And I've learned this and figured this out, all right? You cannot think like a retail trader, all right? You cannot think like a retail trader. And with that, why I'm saying you can't think like a retail trailer because the the big guys who are these hedge funds and the banks and everything, like they can see your support and resistance areas. All right. I'm not, I'm not, this is not a joke. This is not a joke, guys. They can see your support and resistance areas. And what most traders do is once price approaches their support and resistance areas, they will enter the trade. There's no problem with that. Right, is they put their stop loss just below it or just above it, and they get hit out, and they want to know, damn, like how did I just get kicked out of that trade? You know why? One word, liquidity. Okay, for those of you who do not know what liquidity is, it's where price likes to come back and retest the area, and then never come back to that level again. All right. So with that being said, um, I would focus more like I, I like I have been focusing more on supply and demand. Support and resistance is OK as long as you can handle a decent stop loss, because the reason why support and resistance is so iffy is because once once price goes to a support area, it, it doesn't necessarily bounce right off. It will penetrate it just a little bit and then go up. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Liquidity is at that bottom. So what the big boys are doing, they're coming down and they're grabbing everybody's stop loss before go heading back up or down. That's what it is. All right. And Very good. That's how, man, that's how the big boys trade. And like, you have to follow, like, don't, 
do not think like a retail trader. And I would, and like, I, I would hate to say this, but don't, don't even depend on candlesticks, man. Like, I, 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 I can't even, <laughs> yo, the, the amount of stuff that I've learned in the past couple of months, like taking my trading to the next level, it's like, what was I thinking? Like, this is set up to, dude, they're setting you up to fail as a retail trader. They're setting you up to fail with a retail as retail traders. And if if I could give anybody advice on how to trade, stick to your support and resistance, but manage your stop loss. Like don't set your don't don't put your stop loss right below it. Like, you know, have some breathing room with it. You understand? And the more success you're gonna have is from zone to zone. That's it. Regardless of the fact of what this candle is looking like. Once that candle goes to that zone, it doesn't give a shit if the four-hour candle is bullish, right? And then it's looking like it's going to go up. Once it goes to that zone, it can plummet. You know why? That happened last night to me. You understand what I'm saying? And as, as me being who I am, these things still happen, guys. These things still happen to me. You understand? So don't, don't beat yourself up. These things happen. So... You just have to take a step back, take a deep breath, and move on. Because there, there, there'll always be another setup out there. Do not fall to FOMO. Do not FOMO trade. You FOMO trade, you will lose everything that you have. Guys, check this out, right? In, two months ago, Ricky said he figured this out. So it's a constant journey right? It never ends. We are constantly looking to improve, right? Um, this is the first time I've heard Ricky talk about liquidity and supply and demand. So he's evolving in his trading, all right? And guess what? The more you evolve, guess what? The more money you make, right? So I'm going to open it up, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to unmute everyone, okay? Um, with make sure guys, let's keep the, the background noise to, to a minimum so that, you know, we can, we can, um, you know, get our questions answered and, um, just learn here. We want to learn and, and get some good information. We don't get this guy a lot. I mean, he's a busy guy. He's a very busy guy. So, um, we've got a, we've got a really nice opportunity here to pick his brain. Okay. So I'm going to um, unmute everyone. And um, just uh, go ahead. Anyone with any questions, you can raise your hands also. Everybody's being shy, but I'm not. <laughs> go ahead, so, Andre. So Ricky, listen, I'm from GT2, all right? So all right. we're going to have to hook up because I've been doing some trading before, but I'm, I'm trying to get to the next level. And that's why I've been listening to David. And David has a lot to share. Um, I haven't been following the, the zone like David is teaching. And, and so I, I, you know, I, need to, I need to start using some technical fundamentals to, to do my trading. I've been, I've been following the news and, and uh, doing some FOMO and all that kind of stuff. But it's, it's kind of been working out for me so, so far. But... Um, uh, I'm very impressed by what you're saying. Um, do you think that um, having having gone into to um, to monster trading is that monster systems and and learned their systems that has been a, a part of the foundation in, on which you're building your trades right now? Um, um, I can say this about uh, the monster trading system. Um, it works right? It works. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I wanted to find, I wanted to get my own edge on the market. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, okay. Um, you, you just, as you evolve, you, you know, you find different things, to, you know, that clicks for you and what, and, and what doesn't. So what David's system does, obviously, oh yeah, he sends you a signal, you, know, you buy and sell. Yes, that's cool. You, you make money, but as if you want to make it as a successful trader, you do not want you don't want to depend all the okay, David. Listen to what I'm saying. You don't <laughs> want to depend all the time on a signal. You want to learn. That's why we're here. We're, we, we, 
We want to learn to so you could take your trading to the next level. And that's what Monster Trading System does. It gives you that blueprint to take the next level up. Right. So don't depend on it. Yes, you can, you know, you take your signals, but understand why those signals are coming as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did why did that system send a buy signal? Why did it send a sell signal? Don't just see it and just like, oh look, the system say buy and sell. Oh, let me buy and sell. No, don't do that. Go and see why that system is triggering that signal. Makes sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Andre, good question. Any, any more questions, Andre? I have tons of questions. I, I don't want okay. to monopolize this whole thing. So well, no, go, go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Ricky. So how long have you been trading? Um, mm, David, when, when did we meet? <laughs> I think it's been um, probably two years, two and a half years now. When I met David, that's when that's I when started, started getting... All right. Well, I've been trading longer than you, so I should I should be I should be richer than you based on based on the, the, the time I've been I've been fooling around in this market. All righty. Um, that's cool. Um, I, I I've listened to David and I like what he's saying. And I think it's 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 a good building building block, regardless of of um, of where I evolved to. So I'm going to I'm going to learn his system and uh, and grow into being mini you i don't know if that's 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 possible but um i'm david talks a lot about your successes and um i guess he's very impressed with you and if david is uh so am i so um i'm, I'm happy that um I'm, I'm able to hear you um i'm in the new york area or you're in florida right correct yeah 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 i'm in uh, orlando you're in orlando okay well um once i go through david's system He'll put me on to you or something. And we absolutely, can, absolutely. We can, we can yeah. uh, link up. Anybody that's in in this chat right now, if you guys mm -hmm. want a conversation, I'm a regular person, bro. I'm a reg I'm a regular guy, guys. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta okay. All right. Cool. I have any? I'm willing to help anybody. You know, whatever. Like for example, I'm not sure if Alex is in here. Um, Alex. Um, and Alex is trying to set something up. Um. You know, I'm trying to do a lot of things right now because last year I had a really um, emotional, um, emotional problem. I had to fall back from a lot of things. That probably gave me a little bad reputation because I had people hanging, stuff like that. Um, you know, yeah. and I'm not afraid and I'm not ashamed to say these things. So, I'm a truthful person. I don't bullshit anybody. And okay. Um, hey, your phone uh, is getting choppy, though. Hey, thanks, Andre. Thanks. Does anyone else have a question for Ricky? Does anyone else have a question for Ricky? I do. Okay. Hi. Um, this is uh, CC from Orlando, and um, I actually had, had uploaded the Meetup app in. I happened to um, find you guys and um, jumped in, and um, I should welcome, be welcome. attending this. Thank you, thank you. I should be attending this more often than not, and I've so far I've been picking up a lot of great ideas, great um, strategies, and um, as far as my experience in trading, I am I have really I'm a student. I have zero knowledge in trading, but I have been studying a lot listening to a lot of videos and where I get confused is um, I'm listening to too many, too many videos or too many different strategies. So now I have not gotten a, a comfortable strategy yet. So hopefully um, eventually I'll pick up on uh, David's or Ricky's strategy and um, we can go from there. And my question is, do you guys provide one-on-one -on -one opportunities to help oh. folks like me who knows yeah. nothing? Yeah, Cecile, um, yeah, we'll get together. We have, um, we, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, with the traders. So yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll get with you. Awesome, awesome. After, Thank after, you. after Ricky, yeah. All right, perfect. Hey, Ron, Ron, you got a question? Uh, yeah, David, yeah, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Ricky, I appreciate you uh, making time for this, uh, this call. Um, let me put on my video here so you can see what I look like. 
Um, <laughs> am I on here? Okay. Yeah. I, so, I, yeah. so yeah. So I've been with David for a little bit, uh, learning his system. Uh, I haven't bought into the software yet. I'm in the process of that, but I, I have, you know, certain things that I, I want to prove to myself that make it work. But you just said that you you go beyond his his software and you you kind of uh, uh, do other techniques to get your successes. Um, what I mean, it would be really great. I mean, it's hard to to do all this in a call. It would be really great, David, if we can have Ricky come in one day if if it if it doesn't bother him to make some time for for the group okay. to kind of put an example to work like everything from start to finish and how that trade has has satisfied you and you say okay it met my minimum that i wanted for that day right so that we can understand better from a technical standpoint how you get there because yeah. there's so many like like the previous uh uh member just just said there's so many techniques and there's so much out there that it's a lot of noise but what is truly a successful um, tactic to get to that success where you feel comfortable in pushing that button and saying, yes, that was a good trade and there's no way it's going down. So, but, so let, me, okay. let, me add, let me add to this for a second here. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, the cool thing about Ricky um, is what I would like, boy, if you guys can do this. And I know Alex, Alex is not on the call right now. Oh, Alex is here. And Alex is doing basically what Ricky did, all right? And I, I hope you guys uh, are able to do the same thing, which is, and I call it um, the hero's journey, all right? I'm going to repeat that. It's called the hero's journey, right? So what Ricky did is he came through us. He got some basic, really good information. He got, he got the software. And he went on to figure out, he, he, like he said, right, where the buy signals coming from, where the sell signals coming from. Right. And when Ricky, I, I you know, I, I tell this story here, and Alex is doing the same thing. I just, Alex just called me out of the blue, and he's like, Dave, I, 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 I'm figuring this out. I, I think I got it. And, and Alex has, I think Alex has all of our system. All right. And he still went out and figured it out. And what Ricky did was this. So Ricky came through, um, started with us, and Ricky disappeared. Ricky disappeared for about probably five, six months. And then I, I got that's the hero's journey. You got you to gotta go out and you got to figure it out. Right. You got to figure out why, what, you know, how does this work? So Ricky went out and, um, I got a call from Ricky and Ricky's like, uh, I got a call from him. I say, Ricky, you quit, right? You, you, you're, not, you're not trading anymore. Because when I don't hear from traders, um, I, I figure, hey, they quit. Ricky's like, no, Dave, I, I didn't quit. What are you talking about? He's like, I'm making so much money. He's like, dude, I just made 10 grand. I made 40 grand. I'm like, no way, right? He's like, yeah, man, I, I went out and I figured it out. That's the hero's journey. So he took what we had. We had some really, we got some really good fundamentals, right? The, the, the building blocks. And he went to figure it out. Alex just called me. I think Alex, Alex, are you on the line? You're, you're here, right, Alex? Alex? Where's Alex? Hey, there you are, Alex. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to embarrass you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I yeah, it wouldn't let me unmute myself, but yes, I'm okay. here. <laughs> yeah, so guys, Alex, Alex has all our systems, right? And and you know, I haven't heard from Alex, and I always get worried when I don't hear from traders, right? I'm like, oh, because you know, listen, I take this personal, right? I mean, you know, we see a ton of people, they come through, and uh, you know, you get a personal attachment um to these traders, right? Because it's it, you know, we're all trying to trying to figure this thing out and make money, right? So whenever I don't hear from traders, I, I'm like, oh man, I, I hope they didn't quit, right? Give up. So Alex calls me 
Well, first of all, Alex, about three weeks, three weeks in, three weeks or a month in, Alex is calling me at night and he's like, Dave, uh, I want to back test this. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, no other trader has ever asked me this. He's like, I want to pull reports on the system. I'm like, where did you get that information from? <laughs> what, what, you know, it's like, yeah, I, I want to see the performance of these trades. I, you know, I, I, no, I, 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 we can do that, right? And I'm like, but Alex, you know, why do you want this information? Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out. He's like, well, I, I want to know how, how these trades are performing on a report. So I showed him how to do it. And then he, he left. I hadn't heard from him. And this was about, what, what three months, Alex? I haven't heard from you, what, three months? Right, Alex? All right, one second. All right, Alex. Okay, I got to stay yeah, on, I, on mute. Yeah, I haven't um, heard from you in like three months. And you called me, what, what, four days, what, three or four days ago? Yeah, yeah. And what did you tell me? I think it, it was longer than three months. It was probably four or five months. Um, I was talking about how I went out and, and tried all these different things. And um, what I found was if you want buy sell signals, okay, it, Ricky's taking it to the next level. But if you want buy sell signals that come in and come out, what I found was the best way to get that was exactly what David has already done. Those are, those are kind of the best buy sell signals that you can have. Um, so obviously you could take it to another level. You have to be really, really skilled like, like Ricky is and, and he's gone even above and beyond. But if you're a beginner and you don't know anything, that's literally the best possible way to trade is what I found is that um, support and resistance, uh, moving averages, volume, all these things are, are um, you know, the, the best indications for a system like he has. So yeah, I basically went on my own journey. I was trying to figure out how to set up my own buy and sell signals and, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And finally I I'm setting it all up and I'm coming, honing in on it. And what I realize is I'm literally back to what David already does. <laughs> so yeah. But, but guys, thanks. Thanks, Alex. But guys, so Alex went on his own journey. Ricky went on his own journey so the, the cool thing is this, right? Each of us, we've got to go on our own journey and figure it out, right? Ricky is a, 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 a monster because not everyone can do what he did and what he does, all right? I mean, he's really, really quick. He's like a machine. Not everyone can do that, all right? Um, thanks, guys. Anyone else, guys? Any other questions? Anyone, any other questions for Ricky? This is your this is your opportunity, guys. Any other questions? Raise your hey, hand. Uh, I would like to say something. Just okay. just one. Okay. So okay, so Bill, I'll, I'll, Bill, I'll get you in a minute here. Okay. Go ahead, Ricky. Yeah. So a lot. Okay. So this is what's this is what's wrong with today with some traders. All right. Well, um, they tend to follow the crowd, right? So what that means is, what that means is like, they're looking to see, oh, like if this person's making money, oh, let me go see how I can make that. Like the way you don't follow what the crowd is doing. All right. Do not follow what the crowd is doing. You focus on your journey. You focus on yourself and how long, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. Bingo. Don't other people's success in front of you because the, because that has to do with mindset as well. That was another uh, key point I forgot to mention. Do not put, do not put someone else, someone else's success in front of yours. That's pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. Yeah. Very that's good. Yeah, very, remember, each of us with our individual journey. Hey, Bill, you had a question, Bill. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you. I saw the. Um, the video that David had posted uh, that you uploaded to YouTube. And you said you started a couple of years ago. How long did it take you after working um, with David and the system? Were you feeling confident enough to move forward 
And I mean, you speak with confidence and David mentions uh, the confidence that you have. How long did it take for you and doing your trades? I remember you saying that your first trade was 300 bucks and it you took right off. How long did it take you to, to develop that confidence in yourself? So I was young and I was stupid. All hey right, guys, so 25 was young. Ricky, uh, by the way, guys, happy birthday, Ricky. He just turned belated birthday. He just turned 27. Yeah, thank right. you. <laughs> so yeah, like to be honest, like like what David said, I, I was a monster. I, honestly, like, I didn't care. And I didn't care about risk management. I didn't care about nothing. I, I just wanted to make money. But the, the, the thing with me was I wasn't just jumping in these markets reckless. You understand? Like I had the mindset of I was hungry. You understand what I'm saying? Like I was hungry and I was like, you know what? I, I can do this. I can do this. Like I'm, I'm the best at this right now. I know what I'm doing. And from when I took David and I, I made my first $300 off of his system, I was like, hmm. I just made $300 off of this. Okay, all right. So as I kept making money off of his system, I'm like, I wonder if I could go and try something else to see if I could try to make money on my own. And then when I did that, I was like, oh shit, look at this. And that's when I just took off, man. I just, I just took off. And David, I, I'm not sure if this is appropriate or not. <laughs> I, I apologize if it's not appropriate. We're wide but open. We're wide open. Most people, but, but, but most people, Right. When they hear people having success with making this amount and that amount. Oh, you're oh, oh, you're trading demo. Oh, oh, you're not making money. Oh, oh no, it's, it's just a front. David and guys, I'm here to tell you that I am not a front. OK, I'm not a front. <laughs> honest God, everything I make is honest. Kevin knows this. And like I said, this is no disrespect, guys. OK, no disrespect. You could take this as motivation. All right. So I'm holding $10,000 in my hand right now, okay? And this is what I've been able to do, okay? This is what I've been able to do. There's no dollar bill. This is $10,000, guys, okay? And I'm not a demo trader. Everything I say, I do, and I don't care whoever believes in, oh, um, oh, oh no, you're not making this, you're not making that. Whatever I do, I sleep good at night. I don't care about the haters. <laughs> hey guys, right. guys, um, when 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 Ricky contacted me and Ricky's telling me this, he, you know, he sent me screenshots of his account. And I'm yeah. looking at and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, no way. And I'm seeing it's 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 it's, it's real. I mean, when when you know, and I'm glad Ricky, you know, I'm glad you sh you show that, right? That ten thousand no. dollars because it's well, it's fact, real. I, I just said I was like, you know what? Maybe I should do this just so they don't know. Like, you're hearing all this thing about me, and you're like, oh, I wonder if it's real. Guys, it's real. It's okay. Real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just that's, saying. That's that's awesome. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes we um we 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 guys really we we're in this to make money. Uh, that's the bottom line. And I, I always talk about that. This is a zero sum game. There are going to be winners and losers. No one shares the, in, the, in, in this game. There's no sharing, no. right? No. So you got to no. be selfish. You know, mm -hmm. when, you, when, you gotta, when it comes to this, listen, it, with any other thing, we don't care. But when it comes to this, right, we've got to be selfish because the market doesn't care. Markets right? don't care about you at all. They don't Ma care the about market you. doesn't care. So, nope. uh, yeah, I, I, um, uh, very good. So, uh, call this. You, you, got a, you got a question here? Call this. Hello. Hi. Hi there. You got a question uh, so, for Ricky? Yes, I do have a question. Very so, good. I just start, I'm like green, like deep, dark green in doing this. I just started actually looking into it two days ago. So, that's how green I am. However, I did do a little, a little bit of research. So, I do understand some of the terms um, that Ricky is using. So my question is, how much time when you're when you're buying and selling, how much time are you sitting there kind of looking at the screen trying to figure out what you need to do? How much time is invested in there in the process? Um, to be honest, you do not want to burn yourself out. All right. So if you're just staying at a screen 24-7, I would not recommend that. Do not do that. 
you find time for the charge, you find time for your family, and you don't let this consume your life. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't take that much. I honestly, like people overcomplicate trading a lot and it should not be overcomplicated. It's a very simple thing and it, you, you're, you're the one who's gonna make it hard, all right? Um, like Alex was saying, um, you know, I completely agree with him with, you know, the moving average or the volume or whatever. But like I, like I said, I don't, I, the, the less indicators and drawings I have on my chart, it, it, it's better because you see a clearer picture of what you want to do. Because once you start putting this and this and this and that, you start to second guess yourself. And that's what makes your trading not go as, as planned. If, if that makes any sense. It does, thank you. So we're looking at like maybe two or three hours that you're trying to figure out what to do or like a day. So, um, yeah, so when I started, honestly, when I started, I would spend about two to three hours, you know, still having time for my friends and family and my girlfriend at the time and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but as you, you know, as I evolved, I don't really spend that much time anymore on the computer. Like I spend like an hour or two and that's it. Like I'm done. Like that's okay. my reason. You know, like, and you'll get to that level once you feel confident and comfortable with your training. You don't Thank look you. for it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Collis. Anything else? Any other questions for Ricky Collis? Okay, um, Mary, Mary, no. you, you've got some questions. You've got a question yeah, for Ricky? Um, Welcome. Well, every time I have a question, everybody else asks the same question. So <laughs> it gets answered. But the other thing I had, Ricky, you're quite impressive. Um, I, have, uh, I have four kids and the second to the youngest is your age. So I'm, <laughs> I'm real proud of you. <laughs> but having said that, I was wondering, like, Okay, so how long did it take you to, I know I'm always looking at how long, but how long did it take you to say, okay, I wanna do this from the moment you said, I wanna do this, because you said you're in there for two years, correct? Yeah. So prior to that, what were your skill sets and what were you doing? And when did you like, when you said, I wanna do this, how long from the time uh, you wanted to do that, did you actually get your feet wet and started trading? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So um, so I started looking into trading um, before I met David. And um, it was literally about, I want to say a week. Because one of my friends told me about Forex. He said, hey, you, have you heard of Forex, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, nah, what's Forex? And... Uh, he's like, no, you can make money doing this and that. And I'm like, all right. So I look into it and I looked into it. Then I found David's class and then I went and then after I got his system, long story short, I'm not going to stress this. Um, long story short, after I got his system, I made my first $300 off his system. And then I was like, wow, this is actually real. This can work. And I decided in that very moment to go and figure out how to do it on my own. I didn't want to depend on the system alone just to generate my income. Thank you. That's awesome. And prior, and what kind of skills, what were you doing before that? Because I'm um, trying to figure out if, you know, this is for me. Uh -huh. I'm, you know, I've had several careers in the past. Yeah. Can I, can I answer that, Ricky? Okay. So yeah. um, uh, Ricky was basically an entrepreneur. And, Correct. and um, when you guys look at trading, it's, it's like your own business. So that mm -hmm. entrepreneurial mindset is, yeah, is yeah. a major advantage. Go ahead, Ricky. It wasn't that difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah. So um, the, the, the thing about um, uh, what Ricky did and, and, and having that kind of business mindset is that rather than an employee, Ricky really has a, 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 a business entrepreneurial mindset. He doesn't think like an employee. And, and, and what that means is that he'll go out and figure it out. So where, where most of us, sometimes we kind of wait for the answers to come to us, okay? 
um, Ricky, because of the mindset. And we talk about this, right? We do this in our one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So the mindset, he has the mindset to go out and kind of figure it out. Um, this is like a game. So he, it's a game to him. He went out and he figured it out. So, so that's basically his background. You know, Ricky never wanted a job. He, when he, you know, he, 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 he quit almost. And I told Ricky, I said, you know, and I'll tell traders, don't quit your job. Don't quit your day job, <laughs> right? I, tell, I told Ricky, hey, you trading, don't, don't trade too much. I, yeah, I, 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 want, I try to be as conservative as, as possible, but everyone is, is on their own journey. But yeah, Ricky is a, is a little unique. He's very unique in that um, uh, he's a really, really, he's a go-getter. He, he really is. So I don't expect, I mean, everyone to have his personality type, okay, because he's a, he's a very unique individual. But there are some things you can take from him, right? And, and I know a lot of us want to, to, to um, you know, get going really, really quick. Really, um, Ricky did it really quick, guys. And and, yeah. I, and and I want and, and I want you guys to know that, um, you know, set set goals, realistic goals for yourselves. Okay. Yes. Um, trying to make a hundred. I mean, we do that because hey, a hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and and Ricky made you know forty. I mean, Ricky's made done really well. But you don't have to make that to be successful in trading. No. You know, you? listen, ten thousand a year. Um, could make a big difference, okay? But but the, his mindset is what we want, and it is not going to be perfect, okay? But boy, if we can if we can copy some of the stuff that 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 you know he's sharing, uh, it gives us an advantage. Very good. Any anyone else? Anyone else? Any questions for Ricky? Anyone else? Anyone else? No one else? Hey, Ron. Okay, Ron. All right, go ahead, Ron. Hey, Ron, you got a question for Ricky? All right. One second. There we go. All Can right. you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't want to hog the questions. I, I figured other was, others would want to ask again. Uh, so Ricky, when did you make your first million? <laughs> Ron is oh. a comedian. <laughs> no, no. And, and, and I'm joking because I, I, obviously I'm not working with the IRS or anything, but, um, <laughs> I'm curious, uh, is investing, are you, I, I take it you invest in Forex. That's your primary trading. Yes. That's my primary source of income, to be honest. Okay, so do you, so you have other means of income. That's not your only means, right? Um, no, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's but do, much you, it. do you dabble in other things like equities or um, crypto or anything like that? Uh, nope. Just for okay. that's my job. Okay. That's it. <laughs> that's pretty wow. cool. Okay. Got pretty it. pretty disciplined, right? Very disciplined. No, yeah, yeah. I, I just I was just wondering because option the option world I thought would be something that would interest him, but I don't know if that would be something he dabbled with. All right, thanks, Ron. Very good question. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else, guys? Anyone else? Kim, you don't have Kim. You don't have a question for Ricky. Nope. No. no. Oh man. <laughs> you know me. I got my own thing going. I know. God, I, know I know. I know. I know. I'm going down with the ship, Dave. That, that's I, know, me. I know. Anyone I else, guys? I Anyone have... else before we let Ricky go? Anyone else? <laughs> okay. uh, no one thing else? he might want to talk about is uh, the systems that he used to trade. If he uses, um, if he uses, um, uh, Hugo's way. If he uses, um, uh, if he uses uh, a trade station, does he use uh, forex? Does he use? Um, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of the trading app that you use to uh, to get the leverage up. Um, oh man, I should I should know the name of it. But uh, what systems do you use to actually do your trades with? All right, so all I have is my iPhone. 
um, a laptop and I just use TradingView and MetaTrader. That's it, MetaTrader. That's the other one I was thinking about. Okay. Now, do you leverage? How much do you leverage when you use um, Trader? What would you recommend for a person starting? My favorite is Hugo's way, and I use leverage from 500 to 1. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just to let you guys know, I never use 500 to 1, 200 to 1. Yeah. More money, less risk. Correct. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's it. All right. Great. Thanks, Cam. Uh, Andre, you had a question, Andre? No, I don't have a question. I'm, I'm just very motivated now after hearing Ricky. And uh, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be signing up for this thing and I'm going to be talking just like Ricky soon. You guys watch and see. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. Once, <laughs> once, once I meet somebody that do something, I always say, if they can do it, I can do it too. And I'm glad to see Ricky's doing it because that has motivated me. And guys, this is this is what it's about, right? Um, we want to share our successes. Um, you know, Ricky is a great trader. Um, you know, Kim is another guy, another trader. You guys want to want to pick his brains. Um, Ron is another great trader, and uh, and then we've got you know we've got traders. Alex, Alex is 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 a good trader. Um, so you know they're. Um, you know, they're, they're, we, that's what we want. We want to we want to pick these 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 guys and gals' brains, and um, because it's it's all about um, you know helping each other grow. So um, thanks, Andre. Guys, I want to thank you all, Ricky, especially. You know, buddy, you got a special place right here, right? <laughs> and um, I love this guy. I, you know what? You know what? Mo a lot of people, guys, would keep that information to themselves, right? They would make all this money, and um, and 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 not not share any of their information. And and you know, anytime I ask Ricky to come and talk to traders, um, he's right there. I mean, he's he'll make the time, and um, and you know, uh, it's just amazing. It's amazing. He's, he's a good guy, good, good character. And um, you guys, when you talk to him, you'll, 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 you'll see he's a great guy. If you guys need him, um, you know, I will get you in touch with him. If you guys want to talk to him and, you know, he'll, he'll help you guys out. Okay. He's someone you, you want That's to um, reach uh, out, just ask David for my number and just hit me up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I um Alex Alex got in touch with um Ricky the other day, and um they'll be doing some stuff together. All right. Hey Joe, Joe, you had a question for Ricky. One sec, let me unmute you, Joe. All right, Joe. Yeah, you hear me? Can you hear yes, me? Yes, yes. You have a question. Yeah, for Ricky, Ricky, how are you doing? Thank you for coming hey. on. Uh, yeah, before it goes, uh, I, Ricky, I'd just like to ask you, um, which time frame you use? Since you're a quick scalper, do you, do you use the half an hour, 15 minutes, an hour, two, four? Um, so um, I, I'll leave you guys with this. this. This is how I break my trades now. The daily, the, uh, um, sorry, the daily, the four hour, the one hour, the uh, 30 minute, the 15 minute and the five minutes for entry and monitor monitoring the one minute. Cool. Sounds, sounds pretty good. Yeah. You just break it down. Don't make it complicated. Just break it down, yeah. break it down, find the overall direction. And then you scalp in that direction of the trend. Always sure. You know, when you start and you know where it's trending. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Very no good. Hey, Ricky, I want to thank you, buddy. All right, I want to thank you and, and, and everyone. I want to thank you guys for, uh, for, for joining us this evening. Um, I will share this, this video with everyone. Um, I hope you guys got at least one piece of information, right? I hope you guys are taking notes and I hope you got one piece of information that you can implement. Uh, the biggest thing about Ricky is this, everyone has a different process and we know that, right? Everyone has a different process, but his mindset, you guys can develop his mindset, okay? And that's, that's his value. His value is his mindset, all right? So thanks again, Ricky. Um, everyone, you guys be safe, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next call, okay?
Thanks, guys. Take care. Thanks, Ricky. Take care. Okay, bye-bye.